Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwa. Welcome to Salesforce Marketing Cloud Series. So this is the continuation of our video interactive page in Cloud Pages. In that video, I have created an interactive cloud page which shows the confirmation message after the form submission and process the data into Marketing Cloud. In this video, I will be talking about how to create email form block an interactive email, email form, form block and I'm going to use that uh, interactive page inside it and uh, I'm going to configure the creation of data extension as well as selecting the uh, some fallback content. So all that stuff we are going to do in this video. So let's get started. So in order to create an interactive email form block, I need to come to content builder and from here i'll just go to create and in the content blocks i'll select email form okay so from the starting point of view it uh, provides three categories first is empty second is review and third is progressive profile so empty is you can configure from the scratch review is if you require if you are asking for some uh, review from the customer and progressive profile is nothing but uh, your preference center okay so i'll just click on preference progressive profile and on the right side you can see it has some of the fields along with the along with their values as well so first name last name your favorite color is sports and describe yourself so i'll just click on continue now comes the uh, part where we are going to configure the cloud page destination the collection and uh, the specifically which interactive page you are going to use and what would be the response capture okay so let's start from the form configuration section and first comes the cloud page destination so i'll just search for collection so we have created our cloud page in trialhead simulation collection and our page was camping preferences okay so now you can see we have selected that cloud page destination now let's come to the response capture part okay so it gives two options first is create data extension automatically and second is use an existing data extension so for our case we are going to create a data extension automatically i will just provide a, i'll just provide this name as camping preference form i'll just click create okay so once that is done now comes to the part because uh, there are some fields already on our form which uh, we do not want for our case so what i will do i'll just uh, go to let's say we do not want these three fields down here favorite color favorite spot and describe yourself so i'll just go to this and i'll just click delete and click continue same thing i'll just gonna do for this duplicate spot and then describe yourself now we have only two fields first name and last name First, uh, because these fields uh, we are having as input field and we have to label, but we have not configured the data extension fields here. So for that, I'll click on edit this field. Now you can see input label is there, but data attribute is not there. So in the data attribute, I'll just click this uh, lookup kind of field and I'll just click on click new attribute. So for first name, I'm just keeping it as first name then click create so that means this is the input label to be visible on the form and this is going to be the field in our data extension that we are going to create as part of this form submission okay so I'll just click on done similar thing I'll do for last name go to data attribute and click create new attribute last name click create okay so we have uh, created two columns as well for for first name and last name now let's create a new input and it would be the type of select 
select means you can have a pick list field from where you can select the option okay <coughs> now name i am giving this uh, field as pref camping preference and then data attribute i'm gonna click create new and i'll just to provide the name as camping ref click create now we need to provide some description also over here so let's say where do you prefer to sleep when you camp okay where do you prefer to sleep when you camp and question mark okay click done okay we need to add options as well so this is going to be your field label and this is the question which we are asking in this field so i need to provide the options as well so first option i'm providing as in our tent and similar thing i'm providing in the label as well click save and one more option i'm going to provide as in a camper okay so frankly speaking i uh, also don't know what is a camper so let's see camper okay camper is kind of recreational vehicle or van we can say okay so we have added the values in our select field as well to find out the preference of the customer to sleep when he he is camping okay so once that is done our fields are configured now uh, it comes to the part of fallback content okay so what is the meaning of fallback content so in case something goes wrong some field is not coming properly data is not coming properly in the field or something anything okay in that case you should be having a fallback content where it will redirect to in case of any problem with your actual form or actual response okay so that uh, that gives uh, uh, a good customer experience in case of any problems okay so to configure that you need to come to design tab and you can say fallback uh, uh, you can see this fallback state choose what will be displayed in inboxes that do not support interactive elements this could be a button that links to the form on the web you can also choose to show nothing okay so in our case we are going to choose uh, a block from content builder and that would be anti fallback content click select so that is done now let's change the label of the submit button so i'll just come to submit button and let's say let us no exclamation mark okay so once that is done now we are going to save this uh, email form and i'm just giving it a name as nto camping okay and click save and then we are going to say save and exist so that is our form has been created an email form is created we have configured the input fields first name last name and camping preference of uh, uh, sleeping preference when uh, a customer is camping and uh, we have chosen our collection uh, sorry we have chosen our interactive page from the collection which we have created in earlier video where it's going to redirect once the form is submitted and that interactive page is going to process that data into marketing cloud in the data extension that we have configured in our email form okay so that is how it is connected uh, your email form form along with your interactive page now uh, this is only we have created an email form we have not configured it on any email so far so i'll just go to this uh, um nto email form block email i'll click on edit and from the content i'll just select this uh, nto campaign 
or okay NTO not NTO camping NTO camping example and I'll just drag it over here so here you can see our form has come through over this email screen with the fields which we have configured and these fields are going to be captured in our data extension that we have configured in our email form using our interactive cloud page okay so that's how uh, all these things work so once uh, uh, let's say once uh, any customer comes and he submits the form this form how it's gonna um, happen in your data extension so uh, camping preference form data extension we have created so once uh, the customer provided some information and submit the form it's going the records going to come inside this data extension here you can see the fields which we have created first name last name camping preferences and and your rating something you can add extra fields as well and id obviously okay so that's how it's gonna look and that was all about the email form and interactive pages in uh, salesforce marketing cloud if you find this content helpful please like the video and comment on it for more please subscribe my channel as abhishek bahirwal thank you